The Detroit area is home to all kinds of art fairs where you can find one of a kind pieces from local and national artists. It's the Kensington Metro Park Art Fair, which runs Friday through Monday, we're talking about. And the art fair has been recognized by Sunshine Artist Magazine as one of the top fairs in the country. Joining us are two of the artists who will be featured at the event, Marie Rust and Sean McLean. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Oh, thanks for having us. Uh, this is outside in the natural setting right along the beach at Kensington Metro Park by the water, and that's perfect for what you do both because your art focuses on nature. So, Marie, let's start with your uh, medium. How do, how do you explain how you work and put these pieces of art together? Sure. Um, well, first of all, I start with my own photography. I, I use my own images. I think that that's a really important part of the process. Uh, and then I use those as reference to do uh, colored pencil and ink drawings primarily. Um, some of them I have a little watercolor pencil, maybe a little watercolor pen. Um, and yeah, it's uh, no particular technique. I'm not really a traditional colored pencil artist. Uh, a lot of the detail is done with pen work. Um, so I don't do a lot of blending, which is a lot of what, uh, you know, again, traditional colored pencil is all about. I'd like that detail. I like creating depth and texture uh, with the pen uh, and uh, yeah, I, you know, my background is more actually in photography, and we learned that to to create a good photograph, this was back when we were doing black and white, uh, was to have a some area in the piece that was white and some area that was black. You know, creating that contrast really excites the eye, and uh, and that's one of the things I try to do with my drawings. Well, you might say that you work with the bare necessities. That's right. <laughs> what drew you to capturing these moments in nature like the bear behind you? Uh, well, I live in Nuevo County. We actually have uh, bears that come through our property. Uh, this guy was actually up at uh, Oswald's Bear Ranch uh, up in Nuevo in the UP. Um, you know, when the bears come around here, we try to scare them away. We don't really want them in the front yard. But up there, um, there's better photo opportunities, and, and you know I can get I can get them doing silly things like this. That's great. Hey, there, boo boo. Hey, Sean, you have a passion for water and capturing moments. Tell us about your art. Yeah, so uh, I think my art really stems from my passion for surfing. Um, you know, growing up in northern Michigan, uh, you know, I think I grew up with an appreciation for the water. But uh, when I started surfing kind of just gain a different perspective on it um, and look at it in a different way. So I think that uh, really is what draws me to the water um, and to the, top, the photography I do. And I appreciate the dynamic nature of it. Um, you know, you can go out and shoot landscapes, but you're literally looking at a, a static environment. So when I go and shoot the water and the waves, you know, I can stay in the same spot for hours and continuously shoot and yet every picture is different. Um, so I appreciate that um, and getting to play with shutter speed and the water moving, you can just really create some some cool scenes, also some, some dreamy scenes. Uh, what about being in the water? You ever thought about being in a boat and going up to the pilings beneath the mighty Mac and shooting, you know, from underneath the bridge or, or, or you know, I have something called thalassophobia, which is I have a fear of deep water and mysterious unknown stuff coming out of the water and that kind of thing. Do you, do you have any kind of fascination or phobia about the water at all? You know, one of my recurring nightmares is actually getting held under waves while I'm surfing. So I guess deep down I do. Uh, but I would love to actually do photography in the water. You know, I consider myself a water photographer. Um, so one of my goals here in the near future, hopefully, is to get a water housing so I can actually be in the water while I'm shooting. Okay, uh, Sean, real quick, where can people learn more about your artwork? Uh, so you can find me at offshoreorigins.com. That's kind of the name I gave for my, what I'd call creative platform. Um, or you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook. Uh, both are at Offshore Origins. Offshore Origins. Marie, real quick, how Got about it. you? How can we find you? Yeah, uh, I have a website. It's easy. It's my name, MarieRust.com. I'm also on Facebook under uh, Bear Track Studios slash Marie Rust. That's our business name. Excellent. Thank you both for the time. Oh, thanks, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Uh, those two and more artists will be at the Kensington Metro Park Art Fair this Friday through Monday. Uh, Marie and Scott, one more time, thanks for being here. Tati.